Evil Geniuses leading by two games to one against China's CDEC in the grand final of the International 2015. They're going to loop themselves into the middle at the same time. EG had exactly the same thought. It's going to be smoke on smoke. The smoke will break and Fear's going to have that call down. The Fisher going to keep dragging it out with the Rocket Mirage. The hookshot's coming in for Samael. We'll take the first one. Isolated XC in front of his own cogs and Samael jumps over him again. The Mage, the whole clockwork in position of Fear. The Rocket Mirage doing some work with the instead. Garden wants to TP out. They don't have damage to kill both of them. Our Shaker commits the Echo Slam to ensure the kill. So we got to instantly blink. Stun, Garden needs his life striker ready to connect, and they'll use the curse with Laguna Blade to mail! Oh. Almost able to jump the animation with Stop the Universe right in the back of Garda. You've got the call down as well, this will instantly kill off the Lina. But now the Hawk shot as well, XE's looking for a good line, and he completely walks it up to the side! Universe will get the stun, but the DK's doing a lot more work, especially when the Splinter arrives in from Q. A CDC is not in a bad position for this. They're just around the corner, including Hookshot. So Garda, as well as Shiki, they're not liking where they are. And actually, Shiki just leaves Garda for dead. He blinks himself away to safety. He's thinking about turning as Garda with the Hookshot in. He gets Laguna Blade over on Samael. And Samael is practically out of mana. The Ice Watch, however, coming in on the top of the Dragon Knight with the Echo Slam control. It should be enough. Samael, the curse is on him. Universe actually turned around to try and kill off his own teammate. As Universe actually going to get a double kill. He could have killed his teammate for Clockwork. The Embrace is there, the Fissure Control, a triple kill for Universe. But now we see Aggressive coming online. The Phantom Lancer, insanely difficult to deal with. He's going to doppelganger himself in to find PPD. He'll pick up the kill and it'll be a two for three trade off. See the EC by surprise. They throw out more Lancers, just keeping vision on fear. They jump in. There's your curse to Mount, going in deep over on Y, but he's already used his ability. But here comes your call down. Dragon Knight going for the extra stun, the keeping Universe out. No Echo Slam for him, in fact, he's actually going to push it back out with the comp. Universe will drop, and maybe even one after, it's going to be a double kill for Samel. The Song of the Siren, allowing EG to reset Samel, not with a great amount of mana, but a poor time for the Orca to come back off cooldown. They can control the clockwork, he will take a fall, but Aggressive is on the run. But in order to do so, he's got to drop either his TP scroll or sell the Ring of Aquila. And some mail, blink, Dragon Tail stun. Gunner's going to be here with the hookshot as well, Laguna Blade, Samel, the Cold Swim. The Colts burn bought them a little bit of extra time. And with Samael down and no buyback, Roshan is a very, very juicy target here for CDEC. Yeah, EG are going to know they're going for it, though. First of all, it would be pretty obvious from the lane situation, but they also have a good ward around the river area to see that CDEC are moving in there now. I don't think EG are interested in contesting this 4 and 5, but maybe they can delay it long enough for it to be a 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is uh, no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dodge! Oh! In from Universe, it's a disaster! CDEC, they're gonna get wiped from the face of the earth, apart from Aggressive. He'll jump out, but the Logo combo perfectly hits from Evil Geniuses, and now they will take Roshan. Samael is back, they'll get the egg into the Immortal. Yeah, they don't even need to buy time. When they have superior vision and CDC have no idea it's coming, Universe was so convinced, that they're so sure they're in there because of the vision showing them moving down in that direction, that he just blindly blink Echo Slams, knowing that he should... Oh, actually, not blindly. They already put down an Ice Vortex first, actually, so they did know for sure they were there. But even without the Ice Vortex, I think he still would have gone for it. Five-man smoke by CDEC. Now look for the opening on EG. Now Samael's not in the perfect position for this. He is going to see an Invis already, potentially going to jump down and grab it. And now they can curse him up. Link is fear though. It triggers. That wasn't the curse from Q, however. But the PL just runs himself down to EG, taking out a lot of fierce metal. Now remember, Aggressive does have the full heart for this fight. Last record race is going to force it out. And Universe! Big jump as they get the curse off. There's a control from Universe and Samael. And the hook shot in as well from XC. He's going to split the fight up a fear, finding the damage to Mail. Aggressive being put under the cold embrace we back up in a moment doppelganger one second but song of the siren they need aggressive to die instantly before he's able to doppelganger shiki as well there's your doppelganger shiki has one chance to survive a little bit longer with winning up the fight but there goes your pl dragon on the cold feet in the urn charge they're both taking him out the cold will push back He's got enough life to survive, they actually repair it with another own charge. And AUI, yeah, he's not going to keep up with the dragon. There's Clockwork, oh, the casually of TP. Vortexing XE back in. A three-for-one trade-off. 
Dragon Knight lucky to survive and he can't even get back. His TP is on cooldown. There's 32 seconds before the DK can TP back to base. He could lose his entire racks in that time. Yeah, he tried to TP out earlier. This should actually be a link. I don't know if EG are aware of this, so they might start moving back if they feel any bit of pressure, but Fear doesn't care right now. He is definitely up front. Now the to mail, right now. going in deep, chasing after Q. They just need a couple of kills to be TI5 champions with the Wyvern. He down for the count. Fear, fully wicked sick. They're going to bring in the Titanic as well for Fear while this push continues. As the tier 3 tower drops DK, only now is he TPing back and he's still going to regenerate. The melee racks will drop. EG, how much respect do you give? The PL is up in 7 seconds. They're going to rotate themselves over to the tier 3 tower. They do not want to overstay their welcome here, but they may just have the confidence to keep on going with that fresh Satanic. Shiki Dragon form up, gets us an over on fear. They're moving forward with a hookshot in the eyes. Blast! Perfect! I've seen it! They keep the battle going. So Mal might be low on mana. We need to keep controlling fear CDC if they want to try and win this game. But fear finds more. He's actually being trapped up the curse, holding him here for now. DK will buy back in the dragon back the clockwork with a vision starter. CDC are running out of heroes. Aggressive wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo Slam up. He just sees his bling. They're going to come back. I'm called out aggressive. The call down. The perfect position. That's your Echo Slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He got embraced up by the window. Wyvern. But Fear moving forward as well. The DK about to drop. Aggressive on Soul Survivor. See the EC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out for GG. Well played. EG. super pumped right now. That's about it. <laughs> PPD, what about you? I just can't believe we did it. It's it's real. I'm going to get down here too. How are you feeling? Get a hold of this agent? What? Are going to let you hold it or what? I guess. I'm holding it. Like... There you go. That's how you do it. What do you think was the key? to how strong you've been able to be all week. Uh, we just kept a positive attitude and we just kept grinding and we took the, the lows with the highs and I, I don't know, we just, we just kept with it. Samail, I know this has been a great experience for you too. What does this mean to you and what does it mean to bring this victory home to your family? 
mean, it just meant everything for me, so we got it now. Feeling pretty excited. And yes, we get to get some money from our family. What do you guys want to say to all of your fans who have been with you this whole time? Bleed blue!